Today's Business of the Week is Western North Carolina's home for experiential science learning, discovery and exploration. It strives to spark imagination and foster lifelong curiosity. Today I am at Asheville Museum of Science. Let's go inside and check it out. Executive Director of the Asheville Museum of Science and welcome to uh, check out the Science Museum with us. Thank you so much for having me and taking time to talk to me. So how long the Museum of Science has been around for? So we were formerly the Colbert Earth Science Museum and we've been around since the 1960s but we have just changed our name and location and moved here as of November of mm -hmm. 20 rebranded kind of yeah okay exactly. uh, can you talk a little bit more about how uh, the idea of Asheville Museum of Science came around the Colburn Earth Science Museum the legacy was our gem and mineral museum if you want to take a peek in here we have a, an extensive collection of rocks and minerals that has been with us since the beginning and wow. since we moved here we decided to change our name rebrand do a new mm -hmm mission statement and we've expanded beyond earth gems and minerals mm -hmm. to all sciences which includes all of our new exhibits down here we have a diamond store if you want to come take a look we've got the solar system you can explore satellites and planets we've got a cool terra box over here Like I said, here's our dinosaur centerpiece right in the middle. The Teratophonius curiae, which is an ancestor to the T-Rex. We've got a fossil dig where you can become a paleontologist. And we've got our forest exhibit going. Kids are moving around that right now. And then we've got a cool new mural getting installed right now which is going to stretch across this entire wall. Customer can be, we say, zero to 100. So <laughs> it is a lot of children. Wide open. Yeah, wide open. A lot of children right now because we have a field trip going on. Mm -hmm. We take field trips every morning, especially in the school year. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do summer camps mm -hmm. and lots of other activities outside of just regular mm -hmm. hours. But a lot of adults like to come in and do scavenger hunts mm -hmm. just as much as the kids. Right. So. Every adult has a child inside, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and that's our mission is that we don't want um, people to ever stop learning. We want this to be a center for experiential mm -hmm. science learning and for that to be fostered mm -hmm. throughout life. So. You live, you learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who's the founder? He, Mr. Colburn himself. Mm -hmm. He um, was a banker and an engineer back in the early 1900s and um, lived in Biltmore Forest. Mm -hmm. and mining gems and minerals was a hobby of his to keep him out of trouble, he would say. <laughs> but he um, left this extensive gem and mineral collection mm -hmm. to form a science museum. And so that's what we did and we kept okay. it going ever since. What is your favorite part about being involved in, with this museum and doing all this work for My museum? favorite part is absolutely getting kids mm -hmm. and adults inspired about mm -hmm. science. Mm -hmm. and having even the smallest things be inspirational to them to potentially as a as a child to being exposed to new career opportunities mm -hmm. that they might not have ever thought of mm -hmm. for themselves and to get them on what we like to call the STEM pipeline so getting them involved in science early on might help them want to pick a career in science later on. Right. Yeah. What is your least favorite part about being oh, least in favorite. charge of this amazing mm. museum? Probably clean up duty. <laughs> no, it's it's a labor of love, obviously. I mean, yeah. We all chip in. We have a staff of 10 here right now, and um, we all work really hard to make mm -hmm. this happen. Of course, we would love to have a staff of 20, but you know, right. we're a nonprofit. <laughs> okay, I did not realize that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously you are in downtown Asheville. Do you have a lot of tourists who visit or a lot of 
a local old school? It's about half children. and half, actually. Um, okay. We get a, a significant number of Buncombe County residents come through the door. We have a nice membership program mm -hmm. where it's $25 for the entire year for a member to come anytime they want. There's a lot of benefits that yeah. come with that. Um, we're also a member of the ASTC Reciprocity, which means it's a nationwide membership program, mm -hmm. which will be able to give you discounts to other museums all across the oh, country. So you, get, you can hook, hook us up with other places. Absolutely. To, yeah. to get the exploration going. So being in downtown Asheville and seeing all the tourists and people visiting Asheville, moving to Asheville, why do you think Asheville attracts so many people? Asheville is very unique because we are a small community with a lot of big community opportunities. Mm -hmm. Even though we're a very small museum, we're a small town, but a lot of small towns don't even have this opportunity right. for, so for we've... visitors. So, yeah, we, and it's, Asheville, I was born and raised here, and I've seen it um, basically before you ever even wanted to come to downtown Asheville. And it has grown into this organic and natural mm -hmm. place that people really want to transform. So how long have you been doing this for? So I've been in this position for three years. If you could do what you're doing right now, what would be your second alternative? What would be your second choice? Oh man, astronaut for sure. Well, I would love to go into space. <laughs> <laughs> or find dinosaurs, right? Or find, oh yeah, absolutely. I actually, a good friend of mine was the one who we purchased this dinosaur from. And um, he wants me to go out on an excursion with him in Utah or Nevada yeah, next year. So. Yeah, I think so. That would be really fun, I think. Yeah. yeah. If you could describe Asheville in one word, what would um, that be? Especially from a person who lived here for yeah. your, all, of, all of your life. Um, what, is, what is your word for Asheville? The fact that I've traveled all over, a lot of places all over the world, I think I would call this place beautiful. That's beautiful. my one word. I mean, the architecture, the community, mm -hmm. the people, it's, it's all comes together in a right. beautiful way. Right. Yeah. All right. We have a website, um, www.ashevillescience.org, mm -hmm. and we also have a newsletter, and that we send that out once a week or so, and mm -hmm. you can hear about all of the new events that mm -hmm. are coming up. We have um, a science pub that is an adult-only event, and we have a keg of beer and a scientist come. Oh my god, that we sounds that. like a great deal. Yeah, it's really fun. It's once a month on a Friday night, the third Friday of every month, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Asheville? Asheville Museum of Science, yeah. beer, what else can you ask I for? I know, right? <laughs> Throw beer in there and everybody right. will want to come. But we also have a lot of cool things that go on in our classroom. I wanted you to peek in here. Um, right now we have a field trip going on, and so they are doing a class on weather and climate. But we offer a lot of other programs such as Lego robotics and um, astronomy mm -hmm. and geology. But on every, almost every Saturday, we, um, we open the doors to the public and do a program. Everybody's welcome to come into the STEM lab right. and have a, have a peek. All right. Well, great. Thank you so You're much welcome. for taking time to chat with me. Thank I you, hope Lana. we get more people come visit you and um, have their curiosity and imagination yeah. That's sparking what it's all more. About. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And sparking the imagination. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.